I only find something to make with these RGB lights. These ones here are the WS2811 RGBs, which means they're individually addressable because each RGB has its own chip. Let's see if I can focus. That means that basically you can turn each pixel on now individually, control the brightness, the color, the hue, which basically when you create software on uh, Raspberry Pi or Arduino, like this is the Arduino Nano, uh, you can make them fade, flash, light up different colors, uh, basically do whatever you want. Uh, they run off of 5 volts, 1 amp, and you can actually hook up up to 150 RGBs on one strip. Uh, if you wanted to hook up more, say 4 plus, you would need individual external power supplies running at least 5 volts per 1 amp per every 150 pixels. But doing that, you can actually connect an unlimited amount of strips together. Well, the only limit you would have would be how many power supplies you can run. And all controlled by one line, a uh, digital. So here you can turn them on. Now it's just a ground, a positive, and then a digital line. And that's going to control all 50 lights. See, they're pretty bright. This is only turned up halfway. I got it of 100 of 200. You can do like a little confetti amount or where it's a color and then make it pop white. Make them individually individually change colors. I can do different flashes, fades. Chasers. And so on. And basically, if you're using external power supplies, you can use up to 12 pins even on this little Arduino Nano, which means you can control an unlimited amount of RGBs. Now if you want to do something like deck out your house or something, you can even use things like an Arduino Mega, which would give you up to 53 outputs. So that would be 53 strands, uh, basically programmed individually. Uh, unlimited amount of strips you can connect via how many power supplies you can use. You can also integrate things like these which are basically light sensors. I get it to focus. Now, using something like these, you can make sure they only come on when the, it gets dark outside, or you can do it opposite to where they go off at night and only turn on during the day. Uh, it's up to you. And even for these little Arduino Nanos, you can even get adapters that they fit on. That gives you basically new functionality. You can hook about four strands comfortably, because these go up to 25 volts depending on how many amps you got, which is actually a good idea because you would blow this voltage regulator instead of the one on the Arduino. So, what would you make with them?